Corruption Prevention Measures for Modular Integrated Construction Chapter 2 Fabrication at MIC Factory MIC is a construction method involving off-site fabrication of modules in factories normally outside Hong Kong and the modules are then transported to site for assembly. When vetting and approving an MIC factory, it is recommended to lay down clear and objective criteria, including requiring the factory to have the following systems in place. First, a quality assurance system to monitor key operations in the factory. Second, a security system to guard against tampering with accepted MIC modules and related installations and equipment. For example, designate different storage areas for accepted or tested modules and those pending inspection or testing. Monitor key operations in strategic locations by closed-circuit television. Third, a monitoring system to ensure authenticity and traceability of completed MIC modules and related installations and equipment. For example, the use of radio frequency identification systems to monitor and record the movement of modules and related installations and equipment. Corruption risks could also exist in work supervision. For example, the inspecting staff may be invited by the factory staff to hang out during working hours, thereby neglecting their duty and exercising lax supervision on work's quality. To ensure proper work supervision, draw up a supervision plan, which should set out the critical activities requiring inspections, inspection frequencies, ranks of inspecting staff, and documentation requirement of inspection results. Regularly monitor the implementation of the supervision plan to detect non-compliance, and update the plan to meet the changing operational needs. Reconcile the quantities of materials and equipment regularly, and use anti-tampering tapes to identify and seal the modules and installations after they are inspected to protect them against tampering. Make use of digital technology to conduct random and remote supervisory checks to ensure the proper conduct of work supervision by inspecting staff. If it is required to conduct compliance tests on materials, installations, and equipment outside Hong Kong, test standards and requirements should be the same as those conducted in Hong Kong. For tests conducted in Hong Kong, put in place effective security measures during cross-border transportation to prevent test samples from being tampered with.